Welcome back. Well, it is time to shake things up when it comes to your Easter eggs. Chemical Kim is here to show us a colorful egg. Experiment. Yeah, Steph. A wordplay there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is exactly what I was going to say. Well, these are very cool. You're yeah. going to show us something that is going to blow our regular Easter eggs oh. out of the water. Yeah, now we're going to have a new new trend for, for Easter. We're no longer going to make the traditional Easter eggs. Okay. Once kids start to make these, stuff. Done. Um, yeah, Done. Yeah. And I know you have your fridge that just gets filled with Easter eggs, right? Yeah, because not a lot of our family eats hard-boiled eggs. So it's yeah. usually like, all right, can someone just eat these? They look pretty, but someone's got to eat them. Yeah. Right. These are not ones you want to eat, but they're definitely ones that kids will want to make instead of the ones that they won't eat, right? Same process with vinegar you okay. know, and food coloring, but the, the, what you do with this is you allow, you take a regular Easter egg, we'll do the process together, okay? okay? And it's really so, so simple, okay? You'll take a few drops and add food coloring to each cup. Okay. You can mix colors. I like to use the neon colors. Okay. And all I'm doing then is putting vinegar into these cups. You're putting food coloring, and vinegar has acetic acid. And acetic acid will react, even though it looks like it's dissolving, but it's reacting with the eggshell. Okay, so then you're going to take a regular egg. You can have a hard-boiled one or soft-boiled. I love doing it, just leaving it not boiled at all, okay? And just set it into the vinegar mixture. And you're going to let this sit for 24 hours. Okay. Just so inside. just put the whole egg in there. Don't put do anything. Just egg. let just it sit let it in there. Sit. And then after 24 hours, dump out the vinegar, put a fresh amount of vinegar in there, put the food coloring back in, and then let it sit. So two days. Two days. Okay. And Steph, this is what, here, we have it. You get to go in and grab one of the eggs there. Just take one out. Okay. Go ahead. I'll take this right one. How does it feel? Oh my God, this is so squishy. It's very squishy. Your hands definitely this are going to smell like vinegar. Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> that one didn't work out so right, well. Let's take this one. All right, let's go take ahead. This. You really have to grab onto it, right? Because well, it's just, so I slippery. I grabbed onto that last one. I, so I the calcium it. has actually dissolved. The shell has actually dissolved <gasps> off of. That's a hard boiled, and you can do hard boiled. This is not boiled. It has actually dissolved off of the um, egg. It and feels like a rubber, rubber ball. Yes. Here, feel that one. And what you have left is a squishy egg. I mean, look how squishy that, that is. That is so weird. It is so, so cool. It's a rubber egg. So wait, I forgot what this is right here. Is this water. vinegar? So water. We, so you just dip, dip it in, in water, water and rinse just it off. Rinse it off, get all the extra goop off. Yeah, and what and I have with this egg, it's really kind of interesting, is that I, I still have some of the shell on there, and when you're rinsing it off, you can just kind of rub it off, and you can see how the vinegar has actually reacted with the shell. And what is left? Do you know what this is on the outside of the shell now? What that is left? Ooh, no, what That's is it? the membrane of the Ooh. egg. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> it's so cool. And when you hold it up, it's hard to see on camera, but when you yes. hold it up in the light, you can actually see the yolk inside. Yes, yes. Which is just weird. Isn't that so fun? Oh, these are so, so cool. fun. Okay, and I know, Steph, you have to be messy with science, right? Yes. And what's really cool is you can see the strength the strength of the membrane, okay? And I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, David. <laughs> oh. So kids will have a lot of fun just looking, and then they can examine the membrane. Oh, yeah. And see that that is what was part of the, the egg after wow. the shell is gone. That but is you so have these, cool. These squishy eggs, so hold that one. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do now a science demonstration. Again, this is a demonstration. This would be something that kids would not be doing because you're working with fire and you're working with a flame. But I just want to show you how with the, with the um, strength of that, that uh, membrane, how it will actually be able to squoosh down and be sucked into this bottle. And go in there. Okay, go we've into got the bottle. It, we've got about 19 seconds okay, left. So we so do it really quickly. Super fast super, super or Denise fast. will yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We can squish that into the, um, into the bottle. I'll just explain the demonstration. But what you would do is you put a flame in there, and, and then, then as the oxygen right right sucks it right in. All right. Well, we, we're going to put all the, all the directions online. Back at you tomorrow. <laughs>